Okay, today we're going to do a smoke test using a Superior 5E electric smoke blower. Uh, we have a residence here that uh, has a sewer gas smell coming from the basement and we can't seem to find exactly where that's coming from. So this is a perfect opportunity to do a smoke test. The smoke will go throughout the entire collection system and come out of any cracks or uh, bad seals, leaks. Uh, wherever that smell is coming from, the smoke will get out and give us a visual indicator of what we need to fix. Uh, this particular blower is uh, made in the USA by Superior Signal Company. Um, some nice features on this particular model is that it's electric, so it's nice and easy to use, and it's lightweight. Um, it moves a lot of air, which is great, but it also does not create too much pressure. And that's actually very important because in this particular test, you want to move the smoke throughout the system, but you don't want to blow any air past the traps. Uh, you don't want to get uh, smoke all over the house, so that's very important. Um, also, <clears throat> this particular blower accepts smoke from the outside right here on this tray and then introduces it into the system without ever having to introduce the candle directly to the system. And that's important because you never want to put a smoke candle into a sewer pipe because of course there can be explosive gases like methane there and you just don't want to do that. Um, this has a good design because the smoke never comes into contact with the electric motor. It uses a squirrel cage design here so it'll never foul the motor. And of course this particular blower is designed exclusively for this kind of work, you know, smoke testing commercial building or uh, residential plumbing lines. So a few things we're going to do before we begin the smoke test. Um, we want to make sure all the traps have water in them in the house. So any uh, you know seldom used traps that are dry, you know you want to pour a little bit of water in there because we don't want the smoke getting throughout the house. Um, second, and this is optional, uh, you might want to partially restrict the stack vent on the roof of the house because um, that'll create just a hair of pressure, but it won't uh, completely block it off. Uh, because you need, the, you need the smoke to actually move throughout the system and completely blocking it uh, will not allow that to happen. And that is optional. In this case, we are not going to block off the vent stack. We're just going to introduce the smoke. So here we have our 1A Superior Smoke Candle. This is a 30 second candle, uh, which is perfect for a residence. You can also use a 2B Smoke Candle, which is a 60 second duration, uh, which is great for larger buildings. On the side of the candle, you can feel a little indent. It says smoke will issue here. And so you want to place the candle such that that is pointing up towards the fan here. At first, the smoke will issue from the top where the fuse is, but then it's going to come out of that hole. So we want to angle the candle in there just like that. Here you have your eight foot flexible hose here, and we have a clean out cap halfway between the septic system and the house. And that's a perfect access point. Really, this, uh, this works with any access point. Something like this would be ideal. So we're going to pull that off. And we do have a slightly damaged pipe here. So I'm going to use a rag to give this uh, a better seal. So I'm just going to place this rag around the edge here where it's cracked. And then stick in the 5E tube right here. And that should help give us a slightly better seal. There, so now we're all set. So the first thing we're going to do is turn on the blower. And we're just going to let that run for a few moments. What that does is it establishes a draft through the system to make sure the smoke goes where it needs to go. And we're going to get our lighter out. And after a few moments, we go ahead and we light the smoke candle. Before you start introducing the smoke, if you have a helper with you, it's good to have uh, that person pre-positioned in the house where the uh, odor is coming from to find that smoke. In uh, this situation, I'm working solo, so I'm going to light the smoke and make sure everything's good, and then I'm going to start uh, walking throughout the basement of the house and try to find that leak. So here we go. So there goes the smoke candle.
And you can see the smoke is drawn right into the intake there. All right, so smoke is now going throughout the system. I'm just gonna go walk over here. We're gonna take a look at the stack vent. And what we should see is smoke coming out. And sure enough, you can see the smoke pouring out of the stack vents right there, which is completely normal. So now that smoke is in the system, we're gonna begin our inspection. All right, so the scent was down here. So we're looking for any trace of smoke. And sure enough, here we have it. Smoke is literally pouring out of that pipe right there. You can see the corrosion. And that is definitely our problem that we had not found earlier, but clearly that's where the odor is coming from. So now we know what to fix. And I will also mention that this smoke is non-toxic. So all we have to do is open up the windows for a bit and air it out. And we are all set. Coming back outside now. The candle is just about done. And I'm also seeing some smoke coming through the ground here, which is telling me we might have some issues with our uh, septic system here. Clearly, the pipe running to the uh, septic tank is fractured uh, as the smoke is coming right up through the ground. So we've got some bigger problems here than just that uh, scent in the basement, and uh, only a smoke test could have told us that in five minutes. So there you have it.